What's going on, everybody? Sudi from Sudi Sells here. Going over a little th thrift haul video. One little yard sale mixed in there on the way home. Uh, really nice haul today. S the new Goodwill opened up in uh, South Jersey about a half an hour from my house. I'm from New Jersey. Um, so I went to check it out. It was super clean. It was nice. And I feel like they sent a lot of good things there at cheaper prices to try to get people to go because you're going to see some of the prices that I got things at and you're going to say, how did he get that? My Goodwill prices things all over. And so did the most of the Goodwills around here. But I got some really good buys at good prices. So if you live in New Jersey or the Philadelphia area, there is a new Goodwill in Sewell, New Jersey, just outside of Glassboro. Uh, I suggest checking it out, man, because I... He was there for a couple hours, got a bunch of stuff, probably, let me see, roughly about, looks like about $800 in sales, probably about $500 in profit. So really good profit margins there. Some quick sellers, some long tail and mixed in, but I got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to go through it all. So first up is a Cake Boss, the TV show, Cake Boss Carrier. Uh, it's new, it still has the thing on it, uh, but I, I chose this first because I want to tell a little something about it. These sell for between 35 to 40 used, I mean new. I got it for $3 on there, and it was brand new mint condition. And then I opened up the trunk to my van to unload everything today, and see those nicks? It fell out. Uh, I was... Yeah, I tried to catch it, and it fell out, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, so now I have to sell it new with defects. Uh, it looks like I'm going to probably try to get $20 plus ship. I uh, bought it for $3, $15 profit. The next up is a Ulevin handheld vacuum cleaner. It is new. Uh, I opened it up to check. It's all new in there, and you can see... For a brand new little handheld vacuum cleaner, I got it was only six dollars. So let's see, uh, it's gonna sell for thirty plus ship on the low end. I think I saw a lot of listings at thirty nine. Since it's open box, I'm gonna sell at thirty plus ship. Uh, so that being said, that's a twenty dollar profit. The next up is another vacuum, and this is a really cool vacuum. This is the kind that you stick on the floor against the wall and you sweep stuff into it and as soon as it, it senses the motion and it sucks it up. So hairdressers use it, uh, you have, uh, or you put it in your kitchen and your dog hair, sweep it up or anything, your kids drop stuff, you sweep it up. But it was only $5 and I tested it in the store and it worked. So it's called the iVac Home Touchless Vacuum. Uh, it looks, I, I looked at it, I thought it was weird. I thought maybe it was a humidifier or something. I turned it around, saw it wasn't, I plugged it in, put something on the floor, it sucked it up. The lady next to me said she's a hairdresser and she couldn't believe that she didn't grab that because she's always wanted one for her store and it was only $5. They sell for $40 to $50. Uh, I saw some listings at $59. I'm going to go $40 plus ship and that should be about a $30 profit. Pretty, And there was a lot of solds on it. Uh, next is was a part of a yard sale deal, a Facebook Marketplace deal, uh, where they had uh, just listed a GameCube for fifteen dollars, and uh, it didn't have any controllers or anything. So, and one of the cables is uh, a Nintendo sixty four cable, so it's not even a, a GameCube cable. So I have to buy a GameCube cable, so that's going to cost five bucks. But uh, and I have a couple extra controllers that I never did anything with that I just stockpile for when I do this. But it's a blue, or I think they call it Indigo GameCube. It had uh, no games, nothing or anything. So I'm going to be twenty dollars into that when it starts. I think I can get sixty for it. Uh, and so that's about $30 profit and I'll probably sell it locally. Uh, maybe I get 50 for it locally and, uh, with no fees and everything, it's still $30 profit. 
So next up is part of a, uh, an estate sale deal or a yard sale deal. It's an Xbox and it is, I bought, I bought a whole box, an entire box of, it said Xbox and video games. So it had Wii games in there, um, it had some Xbox games, it had, you know, one Xbox One game, some Wii games, some, and a PlayStation 2 game. So, you can see here, uh, and even had a DS game. So, it was a box, it said tire box, it said $75. I offered uh, 25 to start, because it was an Xbox 360. Uh, you know what they look like, it's a black Xbox 360, I'm not gonna pick it up. I had two controllers in good condition. Uh, it said $75 for all. It had all these games, so, but they were all different systems. And I told the lady, I was like, listen, I sell these pretty often on Facebook Marketplace and with two controllers and the system, you know, $50 is the going rate. Now the games, they're pretty much, none of them were really good games. So I said, I can't do 50. It's probably worth $60 total. Uh, it also had a connect in there. So I downplayed it a little bit. I think it's probably worth about 75 with what I bought. So I offered 25, she said, no way, I can't do that. So I came back, I said, look, I can do 40 and that's it. And she said, sold. So with that being said, I'm probably just gonna sell the whole bundle for 75 locally that, that has all the Xbox 360. And then I'm gonna take the DS, the PlayStation games, the Wii games out and either sell them individually or put them in a lot with the next system that I get for that. So this DS game, uh, you can see they got it at a Goodwill too. Uh, that's worth a little bit of money. Uh, and this Xbox One on Amazon's like 15, so I'll probably make a couple dollars back on that. So that being said, nice little bundle. I'm gonna sell it locally, no fees. That should be about a $35 profit, uh, all said and done. Next up, we have, uh, I just grabbed this. It was $5.99. I've never sold them before. I was born in 1982, and these were calling me. They were together in a bag at the Goodwill. They're 1982 Cabbage Pets kids. Pretty beat up, pretty played with, dirty. Uh, but for $6, it was the year I was born. I felt like it was a sign. You know, $6 for the two of them. I feel like I can probably get $20 plus ship. If not, oh well. And it's about $15 profit. Next up, we have a pair of Cole Hans. And they are in really, really good condition. I just gotta, you know, get the dust off them. I paid $6.99 for them, so $7. Colhan penny loafers, uh, Nike Air penny loafers, and those sell for about between 30 and 40 plus ship, depending. The burgundy's uh, not, at, it, it's nice color, so I, but it's not as desirable as maybe the brown or black because it doesn't match as many things. So I'm going to go $30 to try to move them quick, $30 plus ship, and get $20, get $20 profit out of that. Next up was right next to them, different size though, was a pair of Cole Haan sneakers. Also paid, uh, I don't know if I can get there, $6.99. They're in pretty good condition, a little bit of uh, wear on there, but that's a $20 profit too. So those two are nice little profits. Next up, another pair of shoes was right next to them again, but a different size. Johnston and Murphy loafers. I paid $7.99 for this, $8. $30 plus ship, and that's about an $18 to $20 profit. Next up is this, what is it called? A Panaview Automatic Light It Slide Viewer. It's in the box, but it's open and used. Uh, that sells new for $60, so if you ever see it new, 
I would say grab it. But in this condition, I bought it for $4 or dollars or three ninety nine, and I'm going to get 15 plus ship. So it's about a $9 profit. Not not huge profit, but it's something, and it was only $4, so not bad. Next up is one of my bread and butter items, they're Levi's jeans. Uh, you know, I got into this business by selling jeans, I think in uh, 2010, I uh, had a consignment store where men and women would bring their clothes to me, and I got real big into reselling jeans while I was doing that. So I would have the store open, the store would run, uh, you know, pay for itself, and then I would just go shopping myself for jeans at the Goodwill, Salvation Army's thrift stores, and just sell them by my just out of the back of the store. And uh, you know, I think I did thirty thousand dollars that year in just jeans. So I had a store that was just jeans. I did thirty, thirty and some change, just jeans. But that was a different time, and I was getting them for. You know, three dollars, and they were selling for you know good money. True Religions were still selling for you know a hundred dollars back then. So, but the Levi's jeans—they're the number one jean in the world. Uh, so I saw these, and they were both new with tags, same exact size. And it's a very common size, 34, 32. Two different styles. I'm gonna lock them together. So you got two of them. And like I said, this Goodwill, you know, a normal Goodwill with the tags, you're going to see a $10 tag on this or, you know, sometimes even more. But the tags on these were $6. So I paid $12 for the two of them, brand new with tags. This is an easy sale, definitely going to sell, no doubt about it. Uh, on the low end, $45, but I'm going to try to get $50 for the pair plus shipping. So on those two things I'm gonna get $32 profit and that's probably the most guaranteed profit that I have in the whole bunch so those people out there that say Levi's aren't worth it and jeans like that the Levi's now I disagree because even if you get them for five dollars and you sell them for 20 and it's only a you know seven dollar profit you know after shipping and they're used it's a guaranteed profit and they're in good good condition. So, you know, some of these things that we're taking here may never sell. And I'm talking about potential profit. When you buy Levi's, if they're in good condition, you price them right, it's a guaranteed sale, guaranteed profit. So I'll take a little bit less profit on an item, you know, if it's going to definitely sell. And that's true with Levi's. So I will always pick up Levi's at the right price in good in good condition. The next up is to... Old Boppets, one's Boppet Extreme 2, this is Boppet Regular. Uh, not huge money makers, but believe it or not, these sell for good money, probably even more than they did when they first came out. Uh, I'm going to sell them as a lot together, and I'm going to ask 25 plus shipping, so the lot of the two of them will be about a $22 profit, and a good amount of them sell. Next up are a bunch of books. So I got seven textbooks uh, that I'm going to send to FBA. Uh, the first one was a law book. It had a rank of 92,000. It's just a regular law book. Brand new. It sells for 300 on Amazon. Now, I don't know if anybody's paying that. But used in this condition, it's a law book. Uh, when I look for books, I tend to not scan through all the books like some booksellers. I tend to gravitate towards books that look like they're expensive. So I look for textbooks from schools. I look for the, on the side of, the, the, side of the, the binding where it says uh, college books or used books. Uh, or I look for books like this that are job-specific books. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But this one sells for... $33. It's a little heavy. It only has a 92,000 rank. So in books, that's really good, you know? So that'll sell quick for $33 and um, some change. And I'm going to make $18 on that book. I bought it for a dollar and it's going to sell quick. And that's Amazon. So I don't have to worry about storing it or shipping it. That'll go out, you know, probably Monday when I do my Amazon. 
Next up is a chemistry book. It's a textbook. This isn't huge money. Uh, it had a 63,000 rank on Amazon, which is really good. I bought it for a dollar. It's going to sell for 19, but with shipping and fees, I'm only going to make five dollars on this book. And all the prices on these textbooks, I'm going in on the low, the lowest end. I'm going to put them all as good or acceptable, and go at the lowest price to try to move them. The next up was another textbook. Not going to go into the exact textbook, but it's another textbook that was a dollar, 123,000 rank on Amazon. It sells for 30. That's a $15 profit. Next up is the first time it's ever happened to me. I got uh, the this is two books. So I thought maybe it was a pair of books that go together, but it's actually still sealed. But it's the same book, so it must have been shipped to a bookstore and they never opened it. So both books are together and they're both decent profits. So they're 125,000 rank, both in the same book. I got them for a dollar each. They sell for 30, and each one of those will be a $15 profit. So you know, and I only had to pay one dollar because they thought it was one book because it was sealed. Next up is my most profitable book. This is a huge physics book. Now it has writing in it and some notes in it. I'll take the note things out and disclose its acceptable condition because it has writing. But this book was 22,000 no, 22, rank. So I guess college coming up, physics, it's a hard book to get. Uh, it sells for $50 in acceptable condition at 22,000 rank. So I'm gonna get $50 the first week I send that in. And that's $31 profit off a dollar. The next one is a workbook that goes with one of the previous textbooks I get got. Now this workbook is 475,000 rank, so it's, it's okay still, it's still gonna sell. And it sells for $17, has no writing in it. And so that $1 is going to be a 4 or $5 profit. Not huge, but like I said, these are all pretty good ranks. Next up, we have a pair of snow uh, shoes. New in the box. They're called Jordan David Grip X. I always look for stuff like this. It's specialty stuff. It's niche stuff. So, you know, you have... Somebody is going to look for this exact thing because it's specialty and it doesn't sell for big money. I got it for a dollar ninety nine, so two dollars invested into it, and it's going to sell for twenty dollars. That's ten dollars profit after shipping. Uh, and yeah, so and also, I would be the only one with this size on eBay, all the other sizes were smaller. This is an XL, so that's good. Next up is something that maybe. Something to look out for when you go to estate sales or house clear-out sales. I've sold a bunch of these in the past because I renovated a house a couple years ago and they had these and I sold them on eBay. These are, if I can get them out of the plastic bag. These are outlet covers that are brass. This particular brand is called Ameritech. That's an outlet cover. That's a switch cover outlet cover and outlet cover so I'm gonna sell this as a set you know, someone might want to buy these they're renovating the house they want to make something look antique uh, so it comes with three outlet covers and a switchblade uh, plate uh, individually they all sell for about seven to ten dollars uh, and people do look out for these things so I'm, I got them all for $3.99 so after shipping and fees it's a $30 price I'm gonna ask plus shipping and it should be about $22 profit on that <laughs> next up is a funny little thing it's uh, it's called the redneck outhouse and this thing is uh, you know pretty crude he says a bunch of different things uh, I'll play one for you just so, you know, he's in there, he's like a bobblehead inside an outhouse, and it talks. Think of this as an information booth, and here's your info. Uh. 
So he says fart jokes and potty humor. Uh, you know, definitely made me giggle. Made my four and six year old daughters giggle a little bit. So I bought it for seven dollars. They sell you know anywhere from twenty five to thirty five dollars. All the ones I sold were used. This one's still in the box, but I'm gonna try to get twenty five dollars plus ship. Twelve dollar profit. Funny little uh, item we got there. Next up, I have a puzzle, and this puzzle's sealed. It was four dollars sealed. Uh, it's it's a two thousand piece puzzle panorama, and it actually had a decent rank on Amazon, but I think I might just sell it on eBay. It might be Amazon, and I bought it for you know three ninety nine. It's gonna sell in the twenty five to thirty range. So I'm looking at about, after, you know, plus shipping. So I'm going to look about $22 profit on that. On the low end, it'll be $15, which is a pretty good sale. Next one up, I didn't see any comps on it, but it was really cool. It's a vintage wine rack with four wine glasses, and it's made of teak wood, which is, you know, desirable, and it's still in the box. Uh, so I took a shot on it because it was only $6 all the original wine glasses are in there. The, uh, you know, it's made of real nice teak wood, and I just thought it was really cool. I'm gonna ask thirty-five dollars plus shipping, and I paid six, so that's a twenty-six dollar profit. And the last thing I have here is I always save my one of my my favorite things for last, and it's not my highest profit. It could be. I don't know. Maybe you guys know what it's worth. But I'm moving the stuff off because I have it on the table here. And we'll see if I can get uh let's see if I can get you a good picture of it. It's a basically what it is is it's a sleeping bag and it's very bright, vibrant colors. And I looked at it and I said, what is this? And it was a lifesavers candy sleeping bag that is like a pack of lifesavers. It has the tin foil on the sides. So when I looked it up, there was no comp sold recently on eBay. And and but I did find some articles on it on Pinterest and Google that talked about it wasn't for sale. It wasn't something that you could buy. What it is is if you bought a certain number of products that were owned by this company back in the day, you could send in your receipts and purchase this through them, but you had to have receipts too. Uh, but I just thought it was really cool and I have no idea what it's worth. And I think I only paid like four or five dollars for it. Um, I'll see it when I look at the tag here. But it's really cool. And either way, if not, I might just hang it on my wall because it's really cool. And you can see it here. It's life lifesavers candy. Sorry, again, I'm gonna get better at camera work. Uh, you can see the it has like the tin foil type side on the end. It's in okay condition. I wouldn't say it's in good condition. It has some stains on it. Let's see what did I pay. So I paid $4.99 for it. Uh, has some stains, has a couple little minor defects, but for the age of it and what it is, I don't think anybody's using it to be in a sleeping bag. Uh, so maybe a college student will like it. Uh, I don't know. I might, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to list it high. And if it doesn't sell, I'm going to keep it. I might just hang it on my wall or something. But it, it, I thought it was cool. So it's my favorite thing I got. I, I might go and ask $75 for it and ask, you know, uh, best offer on it. Cause it's gonna cost a little bit to ship. So we'll see. Uh, I get excited for things like that. Things I find that are unique that, you know, I'm the only one that has it and I get to sell it to somebody who either really likes it or uh, thinks it's cool as well. So that being said, let's go over the numbers. Uh, the last little bit here I got, you know, I did get some other stuff, but I didn't put it in the video because I think Either my wife or I am going to keep it. So 
Uh, that I did spend a lot of time in the store, and that wasn't all the stuff. But yeah, I got some stuff for the family there too. Uh, the kids always get to go through, and if I get any clothes, my wife gets to go and pick out if she likes it or not. But what I do with her is if she takes something, uh, sometimes I say, let's get some stuff out of the house and, and go and um, donate some stuff uh, that isn't resellable. So, oh, before I forget, I, in the box, I totally forgot, I didn't write it down because I just found it. So in the box of for the Xbox where I said she wanted everything for forty dollars for seventy five dollars and I got it for forty. Uh, I was going through some stuff and at the bottom of the box because the connect was in there and I still have to test all of it. So I was getting it out of the box, getting this video ready, and under the flap in this big box. So how the box folds under the flap in the big box. I found this. It's a working. It's a working. It's not charged, but it's a working Nano iPod Nano, sixth generation, sixteen gigabytes. It has four, uh, three hundred and forty-five songs on it. Uh, so I got it for free. So I thought I was paying a little bit much for that Xbox and those games, but guess what? This was on the bottom flap underneath every game and everything there. So I got lucky because this sells, this is going to sell for $60. I got to get a charger for it. Uh, I think I have a charger for it, so I don't have to spend any money. So um, this was a nice little score. It might even be one of my higher profit items, and I got it for free at the bottom of a box. So let's see. It was, uh, I put zero invested into it. It's going to be a $60 sale, and that's going to be less than a week I'll sell that. So that's $52 profit right there found at the bottom of a box. So that's pretty lucky. All said and done, I spent $175 on stuff that I was going to sell. Uh, it should be around $828, $830, call it, in sales. And that's between eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. But... The big thing is my profit margin on this. So, you know, eight hundred and twenty-eight dollars in sales uh, is is you know a nice little haul. But you know, normally I guess people run a thirty to forty percent if they're really good a fifty percent margin. So if you have eight hundred sales, you're usually looking at four hundred in profit. Uh, a lot has to do with this and some other good buys, but I'm looking at a, probably a sixty. 60% margin on this haul. So it's a really good margin for uh, what I'm doing because it's about $530 profit on $830 uh, in sales. So to me, that's really good uh, return on my money. And uh, yeah, and, and, and it's going to take a little time to list this stuff and I'm okay with that. The kids go back to school in two weeks. So my death pile of stuff that needs to be sold that I've been getting at yard sales all summer it's going to go down. I'm going to be listing six hours a day, leaving, go pick up the kids, and then at nighttime when they go to bed, list some more. So, you know, that's my goal for when the kids go back to school. And then also the first week is really to get that office I showed in the last video up and running because that's going to be the big thing is getting organized so I don't lose anything. Uh, so that's it. I don't want to ramble on anymore. Thank you for watching. Smash the bell so you get notifications. Like I said, I'm going to do probably, once the kids go back to school, probably start doing a little bit more daily as opposed to bi-weekly or weekly. Uh, you know, I really want to build this. I want to learn together. I love hearing from people. Uh, I love interacting with other YouTubers. So if you're a YouTuber, send your, your link to me or just comment down below. I'll subscribe to you. Uh, cause I like to subscribe to people, uh, that are just starting out as well as, as experienced resellers. Uh, I want to thank a lot of Josh for giving me a shout out. I think I thanked him in the last video. Uh, I know he's in the process of moving. Uh, and also, you know, I want to just give a shout out to anybody that's in the world that's creating content for other people to learn. I think it's a really good thing. None of us are getting rich off of YouTube. Maybe some of the big guys, uh, you know, I won't be making money anytime soon. I like doing it. I hope that I can help people. So that being said, thank you for watching. 
Have a good night.